Okay, I'm gonna draw this lily on toned paper. I'm gonna use some graphite and also some white charcoal pencils to do a little bit of rendering. My plan is to let some of it be vignetted, so not completely render all of it, but to some key uh, places I'm, I'm gonna do some rendering. Now before I get started, I wanna do a little bit of breakdown, just talking about how to go about constructing this guy. So a couple things here. I really want to have it placed nicely on the page. So the first thing that I'm gonna think about is what is the overarching shape that this is gonna take up on my page? Well, obviously this is kind of a star, you know, in a way, but let's let's break it down a little bit more. Let's look at this, this shape. I've got it pen penciled in, but let's look at what this is. Just the, the limits of, the, of the, the, the seed pod and then the petals. So it comes something like that. Then we can also think about the, this part being an ellipse and that all the petals are kind of emanating from that ellipse coming up from that. So that's nice to think about so we can Think about that, and then everything's kind of coming coming off of that ellipse here, especially this one. But it definitely want to get all the petals in, and then the leaves. So let's let's think about how we're gonna place that. I, I down here, down here. I, I want that in there. I may not render all of this, but I want the contour of these leaves to be in my drawing. And maybe I'll let that stem come out like so. So in order to make sure I get everything on there, thinking about th this is about the, that same size. So I want to start my, my drawing up here and end down here. So placing how you place the that, that those initial marks on the page becomes important. So the first thing that I want to do is say, okay, if I'm, if I'm going to come along and think about this shape, I'll just mimic that shape that I, that I drew. It does this and then it angles down and then it angles down here. I, and that's pretty close. Maybe this comes like this. Maybe this comes like so. I think that's pretty good. And then my ellipse that I had was sitting, sitting in here. So I'm just thinking about how I'm going to construct this. And then does it's a, this cone. This is kind of the end here. Here's my stems coming off of that. Here's the stem for the seed pod. And then my leaf. So I want this leaf. Here's this. Where does that come from there? About here. So this one, just light, just really, really light construction lines. I can come back over that and restate that later if I want. All right, so now I have a good idea of where things are at. I actually think that, that goes a little bit more like that because here's my little seed pod. So different Subjects warrant different kinds of construction methods. So in my drawing workshop, I go over seven different construction methods. And you can also employ more than one, and we will in this drawing because the thing about the lily that's so interesting and really fun is the contour of it. And so that's going to really come into play. 
So here's this one, and it comes down. Now, right now, I'm really concentrating on that contour, and then there's this wavy line in it, and it comes down, and here's that. It's so beautiful, this wavy edge to the petal. And this kind of breaks that, the plane of that, and this. Such an elegant shape right here. Now this petal, it kind of comes underneath this one. And it's going to go all the way. To here. And this comes up, up and over. So now I'm really digging into that contour. And this has this beautiful sweep here. And really interesting shapes down in here. Now I can see that I've got these a little too far apart. So I can adjust that now. Now I want to get this leaf in. And it's got such a great shape to it, so elegant, this big, big, big sweep. And see how it, notice how close the, this petal is to the leaf. So that's something to, to think about. And help me get the that beautiful shape. Just trust yourself. Let that line go right, right through. If it's not right, that's if it's not exact, it's not perfect. That's okay. Nice steady hand. And this shape. So now I'm really concentrating on the contour, the leaf, and this one. And now I'm going to draw through. I'm going to think, think through. And it kind of folds back in on itself and it comes and it goes right off the page. And this, I can't really, I could make it up, but I don't want to and I don't need to. I'm going to vignette this anyway. So it's okay. Now there's a leaf that comes back like so, back behind the stems. This is a little bit bent right there. And then it comes straight. And actually, I think I've got the placement of this lower leaf too low. I want it up closer to the flower. And I'm just looking at that edge. So looking mostly at the image rather than the my page. Just trust yourself. You don't look, need to look down at the paper too much and then across. That's nice. And then this, it's a little hard to see because there's a leaf right behind it, but I think I can get it. And this comes back. And now e, I want to think through, draw through. I can always erase that that construction line, same thing. I'm going to think through, bring it back through. 
and down. So right here, I don't need this. Now there's a leaf back here also that's actually really nice. And it pops up just a little bit over here so we can also kind of think through. And then here. And then we've got this other beautiful leaf. And it's got this beautiful sweep. And it comes and it curls right down like that. This one. So we'll get that little curl. It's really narrow, really thin. It's really great to get those thick and thins of the shapes. And later we'll play with the thick and thin of the actual line that we're using. And pay attention to where these leaves meet the stem. It's really important. This does a little something like that. and follows like, and there's really no right or wrong here. It's just an expression of how, how you see it. And here I'm gonna draw through on this one, and then here. And meet up, meet up with this. There we go. So we have our leaves. We need to now finish the flower petals. And I'll erase, have a little construction line here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Can eliminate those. Eliminate some of that. All right, now we've got this last, this, this petal up here. Is it the last one? Yeah. All right, so it comes up. That little cone that we've got. And it comes up. Again, I don't need to look at my paper so much, really concentrating on image. And there's a little this kind of scalloped edge. And here it comes, it comes like, like so. Adjust this. That's nice. Okay, and then then we have to get those stamens in. So I want to do one more thing up here on the seed pod. I just want to get these. Really nice. All right, now these guys, uh, for me, the easiest way for me to see these is first to draw these little, I think they're called pestules. They're the easiest thing to see. And this, this one, and they're, they're kind of like little, little banana shapes. And this one is a little different, right? It's got a, a 
and it's tape. This one's really tapered. It also has a really pretty gesture. This one's tapered. They all are. And then this one, back behind here, I'm going to actually draw through a little bit and show it behind that. Just a dip little bit. And then there's one, it's, it's foreshortened, it's hard to see it, but it's right there. And then behind it, this last one. And it's, it's just like doing this. So really pretty. And this is coming this way and this way. Okay, now we have what I think is a really, really good construction. And we can go about doing the rendering that we want to do. And so before I do that, I'm going to get rid of any of the construction lines that I don't need, I don't want. Restate the ones that I do. And the thing with the construction is we rarely see how an artist does that because the construction lines like I'm erasing mine. So you think that the drawing came about somehow magically, but it really didn't. A lot of consideration went into it. There isn't any real magic to drawing, just practice and time. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, ready to go. I'm excited about working on this. It's the, the structure of this flower. It's so dynamic. It's just beautiful. Okay, so my plan is to use the white charcoal and some layers of graphite. So I think that I'm, what I'm actually going to do is start with some of that white charcoal. And I also have a plan to really concentrate on the flower and then a couple of the leaves and then vignette the rest of the leaves. And so I think that that will work out nice. So a couple of things that I have um, in addition to the graphite and the white charcoal, I have a stump for blending and a piece of tracing paper so that I can rest my hand on there and won't disturb my, my drawing. Notice that I'm missing a couple little things. Get those in there so I don't forget. All right. So starting out with that white charcoal. Just going to come around and really take advantage of the beautiful pattern on these flowers. So I'm letting the 
toned paper do some of the work for me as well. And just because I think I want to see what I can achieve with the, the petals, I get a little bit of value going. Here. And then right here, it's a little bit darker as this petal. It's darker because it's a little more in shadow and also it's, it's got the, those little, that little dot pattern. So distinctive to those, these lilies. So we want to get some of those dots on there. And be a little bit of this little edge of this petal, this kind of scalloped edge. kind of turns in on itself. And then here is the So just steady, just really enjoying the close observation and the quality of the, the flower.
and what's where the light is hitting that edge. Right in here, it's a little translucent, so hopefully I can suggest that. pattern. And I'm going to pivot to the stem here just as a little break. Give a little bit of light on the side of this stem. I think a little bit on this leaf, get the striations. Kind of nice. All right, back up to our flower.
and more pattern. I'm going to give it a little bit of blending. I don't want to overdo that. Just going to get light a little bit on this edge. This, the underside of that petal is in shadow, so I'm not going to use the white charcoal on that whole surface, just on that edge where the light would be catching that just a little bit. I do want to clean that up. I think it's a little narrower than I have it. It's a little dark. That's nice. That makes that turn that corner. Let's work on this seed pod. Actually, it's not a seed pod. It's a flower. It hasn't opened. And it's a little bit darker up here at the tip. Make sure I don't get my wrist in the drawing. And then there's a tiny cast shadow right here. The petal is casting a shadow on this other flower. And that's a nice little detail to, to, to get. Anytime you can get that cast shadow, it's going to suggest the form. Just trying to get some of these little nuances. And I'm going to go down here to this end of this 
leaf because I think it's so pretty how the light's just catching that little edge. And then this very It's really fun. Okay, back up to my flower. Lights hitting right here. Just soft, soft light. So pretty. All right, so now let me go ahead and get work on these. Get them nice and dark. And These want to be light. And this one, it's light, but then it kind of gradates and up here it gets a little bit darker. Right. See right here, this guy kind of dives right into the petal, the value of the petal, very similar. But I think just for the sake of it, I'm going to give it a little bit of light on the edge so that we can tell. There it is, same thing with these. Got a little bit of a texture to them.
that little pattern on here. And we're almost there. We've got this guy. And it has some interesting light hitting it. Just a little blending, nothing over the top. little edge, the petal. get some of those kind of complete that and there's one leaf that I missed that I don't know I think it's kind of nice And then I can think about what else I want to do with the leaves down here. And I had planned on kind of vignetting these, so I think I'll stick with that. I think that's nice. So this one. I'm 
And then a little thing on the edge, tiny bit. Now, consider if I wanted to um, bring some light back behind the flower just in a couple key spots. Just to give it a little more finish and play off the idea of a vignette. just gives it a little more polish. But if you just like the contour, that's fine too. I kind of like it. I'm I'm going to come along in a couple of spots now and strengthen a few lines. Just a few key lines. because I'm interested in that look. And I'm thinking about these edges that are close to the viewer. And I think I'm going to do that here with this leaf, this one. It feels like it's the main one. I want to make sure I have that guy there. Electric eraser can come in handy. But yeah, overall, I really like it. I, but I, one thing I want to do is I want to just give a little more character to this outline here. So it kind of fits a little bit better. So strengthening this more forward leaf and letting these more distant ones be a little bit thinner. And do I want any more of my, maybe just a couple. Spots.
but I really think that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this very, very simple and relaxing drawing of a lily. I just used some very simple tools, graphite, white charcoal, I used a stump, I did employ the electric eraser, I used a piece of tracing paper just to keep things clean, but just really relaxed into it, enjoyed that really simple mark making and line drawing and direct observation of something very, very beautiful. All right, enjoy.